What's up everybody? My name is Millie and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. And if you're a regular subscriber, I don't know, what is that? Just welcome. Thanks for coming. In today's video, we're going to be going over the basics of a program and software that I use all the time called Trello. I've been using Trello for about five years now and I am obsessed with it, completely obsessed with it. It helps with organizing literally every aspect of your life. The reason that I wanted to go over the basics of Trello with you guys is because I'm going to be making a Trello series on my channel from how to set up a Trello board for social media content preparation, organizing a podcast, planning parties, organizing your YouTube content, anything and everything. I'm just going to be doing a Trello series and also a series of more advanced features on Trello that I haven't seen anybody else go over on YouTube, which I will be posting uh, soon. I don't know when you're watching this. It could be already up. And if it's not, subscribe so that you can see when they come up. A lot of people I know also use something called Evernote, but Evernote is too notepad-y for me. Let's just dive in and take a look at Trello so that you could see what the heck I'm talking about, okay? Okay, so this is what Trello looks like. I just have it on the home default because I'm not sure what it automatically pulls up when you create your account. I honestly don't use the home view often. My view, preferred view is going to the boards. We'll talk about what boards are. You can go there through this button or this button. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about Trello before we dive in. Trello is a web-based Kanban style list making application um, that's used to keep track and organize everything from kind of big picture to small minute details. When I say Kanban, uh, we'll go into what Kanban means when I show you more in, about how to create a board. So don't get caught up in that. It's truly a great tool if you're an individual business owner who's struggling to keep track of all the moving parts of your business. Um, and it's also great for any area of your life, really. I use it as like a daily planner to keep track of random ideas, organize recipes, event planning, and like I said, literally everything from our menu. Um, I drop <laughs> Christmas present ideas Every time I get an idea for getting a gift for somebody, we're planning our wedding and my virtual assistant work as well. So yeah, literally everything. If you're creative, then you're probably a visual learner or someone who works best when the visual presentation is clean and organized. And that's why I personally think Trello works so well. Let's dive into how to use Trello. When you create a Trello account, it will probably automatically bump you into a board. And a board is basically just the project that you want to break down. The thing that you need help planning, I guess. As you can see, here's a bunch of examples of my boards. Let's create one for ourselves. If you want to create a board or or a project, just go to the plus button in the top right and create a board. Let's give this a title, project number one, just for simplicity. I'm just gonna go with that. I automatically popped up this menu, but we're gonna get back into that later. When you're in your board, your board will build up pretty quickly. Earlier I said that Trello is a Kanban style uh, method, so this is where I'm gonna explain what Kanban style is. Kanban is a process that's commonly used in project management. It's a visual-based system for managing work as it moves through a process. So the most commonly form of Kanban is to do, doing, and done. So that is like the most common approach to a Kanban list method. You basically put a bunch of things in to do, uh, you move them over when you're doing them, and you move them over when they're done. <laughs> now what I just did is I created lists, and lists is basically the steps of the workflow that you prefer, the process that you prefer, or the phases that a project will go through. When you have your lists, or your process in place, you're going to add the individual tasks or information that you need to keep track of. So I'm going to add a card. So I'm just gonna say task A, task B, task C, and so on. So now I have the list of things that I need to do. When I said you can move them over, basically what I mean is if you've prioritized them to task A being most important, then when you're ready, drag task A over to doing and start working on that task. Another great thing about Trello is within each card or within each task, you could click on it and open it up to give it more of a uh, description. So complete information that you want to keep track of, details, due dates, checklists, comments, you could add people if you are working with a team, which we can get into, and so much more. So over here, you can create a checklist 
checklist of everything that needs to happen. For example, if you're doing a YouTube video, record, edit, and post. <laughs> so very simple checklist. And then something that is, I think, the most important when tracking things through Trello is setting a due date. So we want to set due dates for everything that we want done. So I'm going to go through and add due dates to all of my tasks. A quick way to do that or a quick way to make edits is using this edit button. Okay, when I'm done, I can move this one over. I could check everything off the list and it'll say that I'm complete with everything and continue to do that with each task. Now, these lists are completely customizable. You don't have to set it up as to do, doing, and done. Like I said, it's creating a workflow or a process that just makes sense for you. I love how I'm talking with my mouse. <laughs> Okay, let's go into some more functionalities. So say you have all of your due dates applied to your tasks. Another thing that I really like doing is using the calendar view. And with the calendar view, it will show you when everything is due in calendar form, which is super helpful, especially if you're somebody who's used to looking at a planner. That's another perk for Trello. Within cards, you can add labels. You can prioritize with red, saying if something is more urgent, or if you're organizing recipes and you have something that's completely vegan, you could organize labels green and you could give it a name. So vegan and let's say baking. Um, so you could choose labels however you like or create new labels with more colors. You can add attachments. So this is adding pictures, PDF, links, anything important that you need to keep track of or information you need to keep track of. You can move the card, make a copy of it, make it a template if you want to keep reusing the same format on multiple cards in the future. When you press watch a card, it will email you a notification anytime something updates on the card. That's usually a great perk if you're working with a team of people. You can write comments if you're working with a team of people, um, tag them, notify them that something is done um, or if it's their turn to work on it. When you're looking at the menu, now that we're going to the menu, you can change the background of your boards. As you saw on my boards, they were all kind of pretty consistent with the coloring, and that's just because they are mostly my brand colors. If you have a lot of cards and you're looking for something specific, you could search through the cards with keywords, and those are the basics of the board and using Trello. If it's an important board, so for me, like my planner, I will star it, and it'll pin that board kind of to the top of my board view. So let's go into one of the boards that I'm currently currently working on and you guys can see it in real life. So these are my starred boards like I was talking about. Uh, these two are ones that I use the most frequently. So let's just go into my business calendar. This is for my business. I keep track of my quarterly goals, anything that I have to do every single day, weekly, monthly, and quarterly. Um, and then right here, I keep a backlog of everything that I need to do or that I want to be working on. And right now I have to reorganize this. So let's just, let's get everything set up for the beginning of the week right now. So let me look back on things that I was supposed to do this past week. So I've already done this. I posted my blog. I replied to Macy. I'm editing this right now. That's actually posted and that one I'll do tomorrow and I know I'll do it. So then here's my fresh week, everything that's done. I'll go into my backlog and I'll schedule things for the rest of the week. So I'll take some things like, oh, I want to do my Skillshare class on Monday. Oh, I want to do this on Tuesday. So I'll just go through and I'll schedule things throughout the week or as things come up, I'll just add them in there. And that's about it for the basics of Trello. There's also a app version that you could have on your phone, which is great because it syncs with your phone and your laptop. And then there's multiple subscription levels to Trello depending on the size of your team and how much advanced functionality you want access to but I've been using the free version of Trello for five years and I haven't needed to upgrade. So this is basically it. Okay, you guys, so I'm pretty sure that covers everything for the basics of Trello. This video is not sponsored whatsoever. I've just used Trello ever since I was working in corporate and it's something that I've adapted into my every single day life. 
and um, I'm just obsessed. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're excited to see the rest of the series for my Trello series. I'm really looking forward to that. I hope this video was helpful for you and I hope you've discovered a new way to organize the craziness of your brain because I totally get it and I think Trello is the best way to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next video and make sure you follow your joy. Bye. I gotta figure out a new ending.